welcome again my viewer from wherever you are and today i want to talk about the tanzanian sgr standard gauge railway the tanzanian standard gauge railway is the railway system under construction linking the country to the neighboring countries of Rwanda, Uganda, and Burundi. And through this, you can go to the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, as part of East African Railways Master Plan. A part of this railway is already completed and the electric trains are in tests from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro, a, a distance of about 300 kilometers. The Tanzanian Railway Corporation, TRC, commenced its inaugural trial journey of the electric SGR train on 26th of February 2024 from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. The tests mark a significant step forward in Tanzanian effort to modernize its transportation infrastructure and boost connectivity across the nation and even abroad. The South Korean made train, coupled with the Turkish Chinese built railway line, is poised to become one of the Africa's most advanced cargo and passenger rail, rail systems, capable of reaching speed of up to 160 kilometers per hour. This Enhanced speed will significantly reduce travel time and facilitate the efficient movement of goods and people throughout the country. Tanzania Railway Corporation TRC started by testing its head locomotive alone. Then it had the aid with four coaches to test its ability from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro recently. The tests were to ensure the driving and the acceptance of the both head and the coaches to see if they can match together in the lead. The world witnessed the, a full test with 14 coaches from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro and back to Dar es Salaam. The 14 coaches are capable of holding or carrying a total of 957 passengers at a go. And this time, the train managed to move about 110 to 120, and it even, it even reached the 150 km per hour during the tests, which also uh, showed the excellence work that the tests were done positively and with a lot of efficient. We were all expecting the train to move up to 160 km per hour, but this did not happen this time, claiming that it's because of the security. They couldn't run 
the locomotive to its full capacity at the first time as it was still under tests. So we are still waiting for the AMU electrical multiple unit trains which are due to arrive at the beginning of April this year. And you know the AMU is another class of modern trains with spearheaded design. The arrival of these machines will change the face of Tanzania in railways game. At the end of July, Tanzania is expecting to officially commence journeys through its Sjala lines, at least from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. The journey which was about to, uh, which normally takes four hours by bus, this time it will only take 90 minutes. That is one hour and a half from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro. The TRC electric train differs from a lot from most of the other world's electric trains. In Brazil, for example, normally the metros and trains operate mainly in the city centers. Like Sao Paulo, there are a lot of lines. Rio de Janeiro, a lot of lines. Brasilia and Salvador. But in Tanzania, it's not only in the city, uh, the city places, but it will go throughout the regions. But that of Tanzania will be unique. Few of them are available in Africa of the same capacity that will be moving throughout the country. And in fact, this is one of the longest SGR system in Africa. Many countries of the world are changing their locomotive designs from that of fossil engines to electric one and others even electromagnetic levitation or maglev trains as technology grows. So the use of the foil fuel is being banned in developed countries. Thirdly, in African setup, still some countries employ brand new fossil fueled locomotives in their railways. It is time for African countries to wake up. Tanzania, despite its economic challenges, tried to show differences in this. Ethiopia, South Africa, Morocco, Libya and Nigeria are some of the African countries which have made a step forward about this. Unfortunately, countries like Angola and Kenya still have built a very expensive West Jara line but still employing fossil fueled locomotives in recent years. If you want to move forward, we must adhere to new technologies that will, will enhance us advancement in our economy as African countries. This is one of the ways to free us from foreign dependence. So guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for visiting our channel. I hope to meet you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. You can refute if you see that something is not very okay according to your understanding. And you can even contribute something you know about uh, the railways. I welcome everyone to share your opinion. Thank you until then. Don't forget to watch other works I've done uh, through the same channel.